It is a real bummer to have to break down in the rain. There's just something about having to cram away the wet tent and all that. Oh well. Started raining at some point last night or this morning. But it's been going off and on and mostly this is just dripping down through the trees. So no biggie. Mixes with the sweat. So now I'm officially in the Ocala section, which everybody's been telling me is just spectacular. Uh, I've also gotten into another section according to the Gut Hooks map. I finished off Central Florida as of yesterday, and now I'm on the Ocala Northeast section, which will take me up to Lake City, at which point I'll be really close to the Florida border. And then I turn west along the Panhandle for hundreds and hundreds of miles. <clears throat> The AT&T internet access out here has gotten a little bit spotty. Every now and then I can get one bar, but mostly I'm just running around on airplane mode here. Uh, last weather report that I got said it was just going to basically continue like this with rain off and on, which honestly is no big deal. It's a little more pleasant than having it be super hot and sunny when the water's limited. See, I feel like this trail is spoiling me now. I haven't had to slog through something like that in, uh, what, a week? <laughs> okay, made it up to Farless. I'm uh, a bit thirsty, so really happy to see the pump. Well, this has been downright pleasant. That pump up there is missing a handle, so it doesn't work real well. So I just came down here, got water out of the lake, been drinking a ton. Kind of sad to be leaving. Oh, well, see what's up ahead. Never pass up a bathroom unless somebody's done this to it. Yeah, it's been a quiet, humid day out here so far. I am enjoying the lakes and the clouds. Really warm. Here comes the rain again. So I think today is the first day, other than those bridges I was joking about through Orlando, where I've actually noticed any altitude gain or loss. It's not much, you can see I'm going downhill here, but it's actually been noticeable. Felt like most of the last 600 miles or so has just been dead flat. Well, there's something I haven't seen this entire trip. Okay, I made it about 25 and a half miles today, found a little, uh, patch off the trail that looks like it'll work for camp. So I'm feeling pretty good. Just tired. <laughs> so this isn't a bad campsite other than the fact that jets keep <laughs> flying by which is making a bit of a racket. Hopefully they don't keep that up all night. Well on the plus side things did quiet down uh, a little bit after dark. The jets stopped flying and traffic noise hasn't been that bad, so pretty pleasant night. On the downside, I did 25 miles yesterday, and pretty much every stitch of hiking clothing I have, from my hat to my socks, is soaked in sweat, and there's no way that was drying out with it being so damp and humid out here. So, oh uh, well, this is going to be an unpleasant start at least. The sand can be nice to sleep on, but unfortunately, especially when everything's wet, it gets everywhere. So according to the people I talked to last night, whoop, you can see I'm the first person out on the trail this morning because of the cobwebs. At least I can see them because of all the moisture in the air. Anyway, uh, there is apparently another through hiker ahead of me packing a guitar. And they said they ran into somebody else doing Key West to Canada also a day or two ago. Seems to be the year to try to do something big, I guess, with everything still on the ropes due to COVID. So I just came over here to take a look. This is the Hidden Pond Camp. 
water's right over there. Uh, some trail builders from Central Florida advised that I probably didn't want to stay here just due to the amount of bear issues since, you know, you get people leaving trash and stuff like that. Just ran into another guy that had a PCT bandana I recognized. So his trail name's Solar and he did sections of the PCT last year just to finish it up. And now he's out here just doing a section, taking a look at things. Huge pack, I think he had a guitar on there. <laughs> okay, it doesn't exactly look the most appealing, but I need some water, so I think this is it. You just gotta kinda brush away the top crap. Right, right. Reminds me of Oregon, taken out of all those stagnant pools. Oh, sure if you can hear that, but that house. So there are other water sources around here, but often they're grassy to get at. So you basically have to wade out a bit in order to be able to gather water. That uh, campground back there does have a pitcher pump, which allegedly tastes like licking a wet penny, even if you filter it. And I've had water sources like that before on the PCT. Didn't care for them. So instead I filled up out of a swimming hole, which probably had plenty of dog and people taste to it, but oh well, you get over the little things when you're out here long enough. It is a damn sweaty day out here. I've been going around what is a lake on the map, but it's obviously kind of a dry prairie at the moment. There's some patches of water here and there. I've done about 13 miles, it's around noon, and if I can do 10 more, I get to 88 store, which apparently has beer and some food. So that's my goal tonight. Uh, camel up on some water, have a beer or two, and then try and get a bit down the trail after that to uh, camp. But we'll see, these longer days are uh, Taking a bit of a toll. Finally back into the trees. Man, that sun gets intense. Oh, what do you know? I made it by a little after four. Okay, I had a really nice stop over at the 88 store. It's tempting to stay, but, you know, then it's not like they're open early where I'd have access to a bathroom or anything. So I figured it's a good time to get another mile or two down the trail. Try and find a quiet place to stay. Unfortunately, I couldn't drag myself away until after dark. Good times. So mileage-wise, I've actually been doing pretty good. I actually did 50 miles over the last two days, which is my normal uh, PCT mileage. So feeling pretty good about that. Feet have been holding up okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've been getting some chafing, probably a side effect of the uh, all the sweat and everything, and I haven't been managing as well as I should with that uh, chafe stick I carry. So, um, so I was in quite a bit of pain by the time I stopped, unfortunately. Uh, I ended up making good time yesterday. I rolled into 88 store at about 4.15 and I spent uh, three hours there. They're actually a nice spot. Cheap beer. Uh, they had frozen uh, stove pizzas that they'll cook for you for eight bucks. Uh, and two other hikers showed up. So I hung out for a while with uh, Solar and Tortoise and ended up getting dark. Uh, Tortoise had to get off. Both of them are just section hikers. Tortoise had to get off and go home to take care of some stuff. Solar, I think, may have spent the night there. I was tempted, but they're not open early in the morning. You know, if they had coffee in a bathroom, I probably would have just camped there. Maybe should have camped there. I ended up hiking forward in the dark, figuring, okay, well, I'll find a spot in a mile. Uh, only spot I came across, was there was actually somebody else there. I smelled the cigarette smoke before I even found their duplex. So I kept going. I eventually found this spot. Uh, turns out I went a little further than I thought. There was actually a marked campground uh, within a couple of tenths of a mile. But oh well, it worked. 
other than the chafing issue, feeling pretty good, other than just feeling like I've been doing decent miles. At the moment, my plan is to aim for Keystone Heights, which is about another 66 miles. I think I got enough food to kind of stretch that, and there are also options uh, before that if I really have to hitch somewhere. <sighs> also, the mosquitoes are out this morning. Must be going a little earlier than usual or something. It's also been really warm. It only got down to about 60 degrees, uh, and I think it was like mid-60s, so it, it was just miserably hot when I stopped. I'm kind of missing those colder days, especially since it kept the bugs down. Okay, I think I'm going to take the opportunity to do laundry and get a shower here. So this is a reservation-only campground. However, the nice lady at the gate said she'd take care of me and gave me a site to stay in. Uh, they do have shower and laundry, though. No soap or anything for purchase, so might just have to have a hard rinsing. <laughs> So I'm doing some badly needed laundry. I got a decent shower and then I'm just hanging out for the rest of the afternoon. Honestly, I'm really starting to get tired of this not having a stove thing. So I might have to change that in the near term and just start dealing with getting canisters and everything because I'm just missing hot dinners. You know, eating all these bars and stuff, uh, even at night is getting to me. So they have a nice little uh, set of tent sites back here. I'm impressed. 